Hey guys, Sean here, and welcome to another Halo 2 Anniversary Forge tutorial. We're going to take a look at boats and how to make them in Halo 2 Anniversary's Forge. Now, all the boats that you're going to see today were actually built by myself and a damn civilian. Uh, so there's quite a bit of variety here, and there's a bunch of different boats that you can pick and choose from that hopefully will fit the theme of your map. So the first boat we're going to take a look at here is a simplistic canoe, which I made. Uh, we have a wall curved, which is on a bit of an incline. It's then lowered into the water, then it's matched with another wall curved, and then closed in with two pallet pieces to hide the water. And then the paddles are actually made from uh, two antenna smalls, which of course have been lowered into the water as well, and then kind of just rested on the side of the canoe like this. Uh, then we have a dock. Now a dock isn't exactly a boat, but it's on theme. Uh, so there are three pallet pieces up top right here. Uh, then you have a garage door, which is actually lowered into the water to match the height of the pallets. And the idea here is that the loop uh, is the loop that you would use to tie your canoe or boat onto the dock and, uh, you know, make it so it, <laughs> the boat doesn't float away. Then you have two pallet pieces right here, which are kind of just floating on the water for, like, perhaps another boat or just loading gear into a boat or something. And uh, this dock was actually made by a damn civilian. Uh, then we have a river runner here, or a river floater, I guess is a better term for it. The idea behind this boat is that it's one of those, like, boats that would float down the Amazon River. Uh, just a simplistic kind of floating boat that doesn't necessarily go too fast, but it's like one of those tour boats or fishing boats or uh, just, you know, like one of those boats that kind of just floats down the river with, with people on board. Perhaps it's, again, a tour. Maybe they're fishing. Maybe they're just going somewhere. Uh, just one of those river boats. Uh, that's kind of smaller, not like one of those massive, huge ones. Uh, but the way this one is built, it's uh, composed of two 4x4s right here, which have been lowered into the water. Uh, then at the front, we have two ramp stunts, which are going bottom to bottom. Then we have a block 1x1, tall and thin, closing in the gap between the two. That's all capped off with a Y cross. And then on top of that, we have a brace piece, which has been lowered as well. Around back, we have two motor pieces, which are actually made from two console switches. And of course, we've lowered the screen into the water because no one wants to see the screen on a motor. That doesn't make sense. Of course, you could make these bigger or smaller or whatever. Uh, but this is just a simplistic way of putting down a motor. Uh, then on the outside here, or rather on the inside, the railings are made up of bridge pieces. Now, we've only used three because, as you know, bridge pieces are not the best for frame rates. Of course, you could uh, replace this with a railing piece if you wanted to, and that would work just as well. Uh, so right here, on the inside of the boat, we have a bunch of seating platforms right here, or seats, and they're made from pallets which have been lowered, or rather merged into the bridge pieces right here, and then capped off with railing smalls, and of course these are like where people would sit, and you could kind of spruce this up a little bit if you wanted to. You could put a backboard on the seats, uh, that might make them look a little bit better, but uh, it's up to you. It's really what you're designing. Like, the idea here is to take these boats and kind of just modify them to get what you need out of your map. I mean, it, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but you can, of course, get, like, you know, better-looking seats if you really wanted to. Around back here, we have a garage door switch and a fuel canister. Don't ask me why there are coils at the back of the boat. Maybe they're dragging something. I don't know. It's just to have more stuff inside of the boat. Then we've got some crates because maybe they're bringing some supplies to wherever they're going. Some sandbags. The so sandbags are always great. More pallets stacked up, a chair, maybe somebody was fishing from right here, and of course somewhere to walk onto the boat, and then the front little part that you would look at as you sail down the river. Uh, then right here we have a kind of Viking looking boat, or this is more like a, I almost imagine a Swedish boat with this. Uh, this was actually made by a damn civilian, and uh, you can see there's actually a lot of detail to it. So you would see this is where the people would sit and they'd kind of row. Uh, while the boat went down, you'd have four people sitting here, or maybe two at each, and they'd be all rowing on cue. You'd have someone sitting up here and telling them to row, and then, of course, you've got the little back part to go in. This is kind of more of a older-looking boat, which is definitely very thematic if you're going for that type of theme, but at the same time, it looks really well. It, like, it works with the Halo 2 Anniversary Forge canvas, or the Halo 2 Anniversary palette, so uh, I was actually really impressed with the way this looked. It's actually turned out pretty nice. Uh, it's composed from a couple wall curve pieces, uh, then you have ramp stunts on the bottom, at the front, we have a trim small piece, and of course, we've got some crates and sandbags all piled up nicely. Uh, then right here, we have a door piece, which is just lowered into the boat. You can see there's actually one on each side there. And then you've got your bench piece with a pallet right here. Around back, this is a large walkway cover. Uh, there's two of them, and they're on a bit of an angle. Actually, no, they're not. Uh, then you have the little roof piece right here, which is two more wall curved. Uh, being supported by tr a trim large piece right there. Then you've got a little step up going to this. Presumably this would open up and there'd be a room back there. 
Uh, then we have a jet ski, which a civilian also made. I love the way this looks. You can actually see some water coming out the back. Maybe it's like, you know, putting water or whatever. Uh, but this is actually really, really easy to make too. So you have a couple door pieces. You have three door pieces, one on top, two on the sides. Uh, then you have a man cannon on a bit of an incline, spitting out some water at the back. You can see it actually looks like a bit of a mist going out, and it threw me away there. Uh, then you've got a uh, two uh, fuel canisters on each side, so that's the fuel. Just to add a little bit more color to the jet ski here. Uh, then you have um, two seats up top and a little bit of a handle, which is a camping stool, which has been lowered into the uh, door piece right there. So uh, somebody could, you know, grab that and uh, drive off with that. I thought this looked pretty good. And this is the type of thing you could put at the end of the dock too, and that would work really well. Uh, then we have uh, a bit of a speedboat here, or like a traveling speedboat. I'm not too sure what to think of this one. Uh, this is a simplistic boat that I made. Uh, it looks like it would go faster than some of these other boats. Maybe not the Ski-Doo here, but, or, you know, maybe not the some of the other boats, but it's one of the, the faster ones, I guess. Uh, so right here we have uh, two 3x3s, uh, both of which have been lowered into the water, of course. Then we have ramp stunts. You'll notice since that was a 4x4 over here, we had to use a 1x1 tall and thin to patch the two of those. But this time around, since it is a 3x3, these... Uh, end up flush with it, which looks pretty nice. Then I've actually put these on a bit of an incline, uh, so they are looking up a little bit, or sorry, they are pointed up a little bit, and that makes it look like this boat's a little bit faster than this. I mean, this one kind of floats down the river or puts down the river. This looks like one that would kind of cut through the water and go pretty quickly. Just with that simple incline at the front, it really makes it look like it's a faster boat. Then just for fun, I put a little tiny spike or tip or part at the end here, which is simply... A, a tennis small lowered into the boat, of course, to have the little, you know, poker at the end there. I'm not too sure what you would call this. I'm not a sailor, so I don't know all the proper boat terminology here. Uh, then we have some railing pieces. Now, this was kind of hard to do because these are not done with coordinates at the front here because you've got to kind of get that curve. And you can see I didn't really do the best job of it. I'm sure if you spent more time with it, you could clean it up much nicer than I have there. But that gives you a general, of, uh, general idea of how to uh, make that work. Then right here we have wall doubles, wall singles. Uh, then just a 2x4, and our motor is composed of a garage door switch lowered into the ground. Again, just a coiler. So anything really that looks like it's sitting in the water could work as a motor. Uh, you know, people don't really look at it too long. They kind of just run past it. So uh, it works for a motor. Simplistic one piece. Obviously, you could make it a little bit more fancy with more pieces. But uh, these are kind of simplistic boats. Some of them are simplistic. Some of them are a little bit more advanced. Uh, then we have a submarine right here. Now, you'll notice we have two submarines on the map. This is a more rustic looking submarine, something you might find like that has been abandoned. You might find it in like just on the shore somewhere that people aren't actually using. So it looks like it, you know, it started to rust and it doesn't look that great. And then you have a more advanced submarine right here. I made this one, this kind of dirty looking one, and Civilian made this more advanced one, uh, which is actually really easy to make and requires probably less objects than that one. Uh, so it's made from walkway larges. They're all set to a bit of an incline here. I believe this is on a 15 or a 30 degree incline. This one is set flush, uh, then another 30 degree incline there. Then at the front, there is a ramp 2x2, two two, uh, which matches the color of the walkway large. Around back, there is no piece to patch off the back. It's just simply the walkway large, again, here, uh, lowered so you don't see too much of the water flowing underneath it. If you're standing up, you won't see it. Then right here, we have a platform extra large lowered into the submarine here. And, of course, you could modify that how you want, but it's nice to have a little bit of stuff hanging off the side there. Then up top, we have a strut and antenna piece acting as a real antenna. Uh, then, of course, we have our river boat right here. Now, this river boat is actually kind of cool. It, it went through a few different designs, but I'm really happy with the way Civilian was able to build this right here. Uh, so around back, we have a ramp circular small. Then we have 2x2 two two flats, which kind of make the, the rudders or the, you know, uh, the rudder pieces that would, that would push the boat here. Or the, the rudders, I guess that's the proper term. I don't know if that's a rudder, but, you know, the, the thing that would propel the boat. I'm terrible with boat terminology today. Uh, then over here, we have a bunch of bridge large pieces which curve around out front here this is a 45 then we have another 45 then we have a small another 45 another 45 and it goes around back then he stacked it up with window doubles all the way to the top right here two layers uh, which you can actually walk inside of then we have trim large pieces right here which kind of support the entire thing around back we have a two by two tall one by one tall and thin of course uh, then we have another layer of bridges now 
this is the type of boat that you might want to be a little bit careful with because there's a lot of glass and a lot of bridges uh, so it might propose some issues with your map uh, in terms of frame rate and performance but I mean you might be able to pull it off but inside you actually have a little bit of a table and the idea is that this is like a party boat that you, you would sit at this table and uh, you know just enjoy some drinks while you float down the river or, or gamble or, or do something or perhaps talk about current political issues as you're flowing down the Mississippi. I don't know. Again, getting off topic here. Uh, but it is a simple party boat or, you know, Mississippi boat. I don't know what you would call one of these boats. It's not a steamboat, is it? Because it's got the propeller at the back. Maybe it is a steamboat. Maybe the steam propels that. That's probably what the idea is. It's a steamboat. That's my best guess. Uh, but these are all pretty simple boats that you can make. Hopefully you found one that's easy to do. This is a bunch of ramp circulars. I forgot to mention that. Uh, then you have like a bridge piece right here, and then a strut right here, and then a little antenna at top. Uh, so there's a lot of different boat designs that you can use here. Feel free to use any of these in your maps. Don't worry about taking them from this video. That's the idea. And of course, adapt them to the way you need. And, and you know, you don't have to put stuff like this up here. You can really modify it the way you want and just take the core structure of the boat and like put what you want on it. It doesn't have to be what we have here. This is simply just, you know, some 3 by 3s and then a ramp, two ramp stunts on a bit of an incline, and you've got the bare base of a boat, and you can start putting what else, whatever you want. I mean, you could put crates on here. You could put a container on it. You could put anything, really. Uh, it's completely up to you. Boats are super easy to do, and uh, you can actually make them. That looks a little bit silly. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. But, uh, you know, you, you can adapt these to, the, to what you want and uh, hopefully find some use for them. But my name is Sean. I thank you guys all for watching, and... Uh, you're going to want to figure out what happens on this party boat, so stay tuned for that. Yeah.